In this video, I'm going to show you how to render a clown pass in ZBrush. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to head over to the demo projects folder and I'm just going to load one of the projects from here. So I'm just going to wait for that to load. And once that's done, I'll just zoom out. So go ahead and load in one of your projects and head on over to the material palette. Now under the standard materials, select flat color and ensure that you have the MRGB channel selected. Once you do so, head on over to the color tab and just knock that off to the side. And what we're going to do next is select a color and we're going to assign that to the subtool that we have selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill object and that's basically going to go ahead and assign that color to the subtool that we have selected here. And I'm going to repeat this process to all the different subtools that are here. So once we've gone ahead and assigned different colors to our subtools here, head on over to the rendering menu and dock this off to the side. Then I'm going to come over here to the render properties and I'm just going to disable shadows, SS, wax preview and all that. And then just hit render. So once the render is done, you can come over here to your render passes and you can now load this out as a PSD file. And that's how you basically create a clown pass. So once you've rendered out your clown pass, you can bring that into Photoshop. And with the help of the magic wand tool, you can basically select different portions of your model and you can make changes to it in post. So this is how you go about rendering a clown pass in ZBrush. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.